Imagine you're playing a high-stakes game of chess, but you can only see your own pieces. Sounds impossible, right? That's essentially what Sun Tzu, the ancient Chinese military strategist, argues happens when leaders operate without good intelligence. In his seminal work, The Art of War, Sun Tzu dedicates an entire chapter to the use of spies, and his insights are as relevant today as they were 2,500 years ago. The True Cost of Flying Blind Sun Tzu kicks off with a stark reality check. He calculates that fielding an army of 100,000 men could cost up to 1,000 ounces of silver daily. That's about $400,000 in today's money, every single day. But it's not just about the money. He paints a vivid picture of exhausted soldiers collapsing on highways and families left without breadwinners. In today's terms, think of a company burning through millions on a misguided product launch or a country entering a conflict without understanding the true situation on the ground. The message? Information isn't just power, it's economic sense. The Spy Squad Meet the Five Man Band Sun Tzu doesn't just say, use spies. He breaks it down into a fascinating five-part system. One, local spies. These are the boots on the ground. In a modern context, think of market researchers talking to local consumers or journalists, cultivating sources in a specific community. Two, inward spies. The moles in the enemy camp. Today, this might be a whistleblower in a corrupt organization or an insider trading informant. Three, converted spies, the double agents. Imagine a high-level executive jumping ship to your company, bringing valuable insider knowledge with them. Four, doomed spies, the decoys. These are used to spread false information. Think of companies leaking plans for products they never intend to make, just to throw off the competition. 5. Surviving spies. The ones who make it back with the goods. In today's world, these could be your top-tier analysts who synthesize all the data into actionable intelligence. Spy Whispering. The Art of Agent Management. Here's where Sun Tzu gets really interesting. He doesn't just talk about getting spies. He dishes out advice on how to handle them. And it's not what you might expect from an ancient warlord. Be generous. Sun Tzu insists on rewarding spies liberally. Why? Because loyalty bought cheap is no loyalty at all. In a modern context, this translates to valuing your key information sources, whether they're employees, consultants, or partners. Be sincere. Treat your spies with utmost sincerity, Sun Tzu advises. No double-crossing or manipulation. This builds trust and ensures long-term reliability. Be subtle. Managing spies requires a deft touch. Sun Tzu talks about needing subtle ingenuity of mind. Today we might call this emotional intelligence. The ability to read people and situations accurately. The Golden Goose. Converted Spies. Sun Tzu is particularly excited about converted spies. Enemy agents turn to your side. Why? Because they're the gift that keeps on giving. They know the enemy's secrets, can help you recruit more spies, and can feed false information back to their former masters. In today's business world, this might be like hiring a former Apple engineer to work on your tech startup. Not only do they bring technical skills, but they also understand the culture and strategies of a top competitor. Loose lips, sink ships, the price of carelessness. Sun Tzu doesn't mince words when it comes to information security. If a spy leaks information prematurely, both the spy and the person they told should be executed. Harsh? Absolutely. But it underscores a crucial point. In the world of high-stakes competition, information leaks can be catastrophic. Just think of how a single tweet from Elon Musk can send stock prices soaring or plummeting. The leader's role, more than just data collection. Here's the kicker. Sun Tzu says that only enlightened rulers and wise generals can effectively use spies. 
it's not enough to have information. You need the wisdom to interpret it and the courage to act on it. This is where true leadership comes in. It's about asking the right questions, spotting patterns, and making tough decisions based on the intelligence gathered. A final word of caution. Sun Tzu closes with a warning that feels particularly relevant in our age of information overload. Don't over-rely on spies. It's a reminder that while data is crucial, it shouldn't replace critical thinking and good judgment. After all, even the best intelligence is useless in the hands of a poor decision maker. In conclusion, Sun Tzu's ancient wisdom offers a masterclass in the value of information and the art of using it wisely. Whether you're a business leader, a political strategist, or simply someone trying to get ahead in life, there's something to learn from this timeless advice. So next time you're faced with a big decision, channel your inner Sun Tzu. Gather your intelligence, analyze it carefully, and make your move with confidence. Just remember, loose lips sink ships, so keep those brilliant plans under wraps until the time is right. If you liked what you saw, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If anything resonated with you, feel free to drop your thoughts and personal stories in the comments below. Your input might just be the insight someone else needs. Here's something to keep in mind. Make a daily habit of learning something useful. Just like how you nourish your body with food, your mind needs nourishment too. Be deliberate about what you consume, because otherwise, the algorithm might start influencing your thoughts. Think about it. We're always open to welcoming subscriptions to our channel as donations to support our future upcoming projects and bring you top-tier content. Join our community by subscribing today.